All right, time now to check back in with meteorologist Tiffany Savona, who is in for Cedric Haynes today for a check of our forecast on this Thursday afternoon. Tiffany. We saw a little bit of rain this morning, but it wasn't enough to really help us out because we are well below average, not only for this month, but for the month of September as well. So, so far this month, we are about an inch and a quarter below where we should be for this time of year since September 1st almost five and a half inches below where we should be. And for the year, almost five inches below average. So we saw a few hundredths of an inch in Chattanooga this morning. We'll take every bit that we can get, but unfortunately we don't have a lot that's going to add up over the next couple of days. That storm system skirting along the Gulf Coast brought us that light rain overnight. That continues to move off to the east, taking all of the rain and taking the cloud cover with it. So we will see improving conditions this afternoon. Expect more in the way of sunshine, especially compared to yesterday. And it will be a bit warmer compared to yesterday as well. We'll put high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, which is where we should be for this time of year. 78 for your high in Cleveland, 78 in Chattanooga, 76 in Dalton, 78 in Dayton, and 72 degrees in Murphy. Will be mainly clear to partly cloudy early this evening, and then I think we may see some patchy fog develop before more clouds push in by tomorrow morning. So heads up early Friday, there may be some patchy fog out there once again as temperatures bottom out in the middle 50s area wide. Now on Friday, the clouds return pretty quickly in the morning. And with that Gulf moisture streaming in, a couple of spotty showers will be possible here and there. So you will want to take the umbrella with you. Any rain that falls tomorrow will be on the light side, so it won't add up to much. But I would take the umbrella just in case. And there may be a couple of those spotty showers around for those Friday night football games, but nothing more than that as temperatures slowly drop through the 60s. Let's take you into the weekend because we have a solar eclipse that will be happening on Saturday. So what exactly is a solar eclipse? It's when the moon passes in between the sun and the earth and the moon casts a shadow onto the earth. And that is what we are going to see. It's only going to be a partial solar eclipse in Chattanooga because the moon is going to cover about 50% of the sun. So this is what it'll look like at maximum coverage. Now the eclipse begins Saturday at 1141 in the morning Eastern time. The maximum amount of coverage, like I said, around 50% will occur at Saturday at 108 in the afternoon and the eclipse ends about three hours later, three hours total of an event and it'll end around 240 in the afternoon. Let's look ahead to the cloud coverage for your Saturday because it's not looking good. We're going to start off with a lot of clouds Saturday morning. Then this is when our next cold front moves in. So it will bring us the chance for showers. And I think the clouds are going to linger into the afternoon. If this moves through quicker, then we may see some clearing across our westernmost communities. But we'll be watching this very closely over in the next day or so, so we could give you that updated forecast. Your seven day forecast showing that today we're in the upper 70s, tomorrow cooler with that chance for rain. And then by the second half of the weekend, look at that change. We dropped from the 70s into the 60s.